What's going on everybody? Uh, today's intro is a little strange because this is a Canada video and I'm obviously not in Canada. We're back from our trip and uh, the problem I ran into with the intro that I filmed on the first day of our trip is this. No audio. Fantastic. I was super thrilled about that, as you can imagine. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't know why, but my mic stopped working on a couple of the intros and outros uh, for the, the days that we were up there. So uh, intermittently throughout the series, you're going to be stuck with me in the garage doing intros and outros just because we had a little bit of a malfunction with the mic. But um, so that's that. This is our first day up at Coal Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge in Ontario on beautiful Eagle Lake. Uh, this is my, I, I go there twice a year. Uh, it's my favorite, favorite trips that I take. Uh, we usually would be chasing muskies, but we can't on this first day because it's the day before the Ontario muskie opener. So what Jim and I are going to do is head out and do a little fishing for pike and smallmouth because those seasons are open. And just kind of go out, get a little fishing in, get a feel for what the lake is doing because it's been a cold spring. Uh, try to see what our water temps are in the, in the shallows, uh, see what our weed growth is doing. So that is what we are going to do. I'm going to start out with an Esox Assault spinnerbait and Jim I think is going to throw a drone and the wind just really kicked up but we're going to try fishing some super shallow stuff see if we can find some smallies and pike. Oh, well, there's a fish. Huh? Just had a hit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Probably just a little pike or something. I think that was a smallmouth. Just had a smallmouth come up and hit it. Yeah. Yeah, signs of life back here anyway. That's two hits. 62 and a half degree water, which is four degrees warmer than the main lake, so that's a good sign. There we got somebody. There we got something. A little pikey. All right. Boy, he's a tiny one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, perfect release. Just the way we like it. It'd be okay if they were a little bit bigger than that. I guess it's a start. Where in the hell are the pike anyway? Jesus. <laughs> oh, there's got to be some... Those, those big ones should be hanging out in the weeds out here now. And the water's a perfect temp for them. There's a fish. Oh, jeez. Well, 
I was hoping that wasn't going to happen, and it did. We're fishing for pike out here, and we've got a premature muskie. Yeah, well, well, we'll just have to get her in the net and get her unhooked and. Unless she can unhook herself. She's just kind of snout hooked. It's a nice fish. I mean, it's uh, probably a, it's a 40 inch class fish, probably. <laughs> oh, goodness. weren't really set up for this because we weren't expecting it. So we've got our muskie unhooked in the net. Unfortunately, since the season starts tomorrow, we can't find out how big or do any of that jazz. We just have to just have to let her hang out and we'll just drop her back. Go ahead and drop the side here, Jim, and we'll see if we can get her back. Come here, girl. Get your snoot out of there. Yeah, you almost got it. There she goes. Come on. All right. There she goes. Sort of, sort of the first musky. <laughs> Wrong flavor for the day. All right. Well, that was sort of unfortunate, but I'm also kind of glad it happened because it let me show what you're supposed to do if you do catch a musky out of season. You can't lift the fish into the boat. You can net it to get the hooks out, but you can't bring it into the boat because then you have possession of that fish. So no measuring, no taking pictures. Um, I guess that's the nice part about filming. You know, we got to film the fish, but uh, you know, sometimes you can't help it. They'll hit, you know, we're out here targeting pike uh, the night before the opener and uh, we bumped into the wrong, the wrong flavor of Esox, I guess. But uh, that, is what you do when you catch a muskie out of season. Don't bring it in the boat and don't hold it up for pictures. All right, well, there you have it. Of course, we go out trying not to catch a muskie and we catch a muskie, that's just how it goes. But I hope that illustrates how you should handle catching a muskie out of season, especially in Ontario. Um, you know, uh, there's there was a lot of guys that I've talked to over the past years up there that have made that mistake of not knowing, you know, they're, they're, they're not muskie fishermen, they're smallmouth fishermen or pike fishermen, and they, they come across this muskie and it's a big impressive fish and they want to take a picture with it and I completely understand that. But um, just so you don't get yourself in trouble, you know, you could handle that fish just fine, but uh, having that fish out of the water is a no-no when the season's closed. So get it in the net to get some control over it. You know, I, I probably could have reached over and maybe pop those hooks out, but I just don't like taking that chance with a, a fish that can move that fast. I'd rather get it contained in a net, get the hooks out safely for myself and the fish, and then let her go. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this first video of our eight days that we spent up at Eagle Lake Lodge, Cold Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge, and musky fishing will be coming soon. And we get some good ones. So stick around and watch that. I'll throw a couple videos up over here of our past trips. You can subscribe right down over here. And I would appreciate it. I will see you later. Uh -huh.